Hey guys and girls, welcome back. Let's play SMT2. Uh, where we left off, we had taken down Spica. We reunited with all our friends, and um, well, we take down four of Spica. Um, I seem to keep flickering. Something's going on with with my guy, uh, the MC. I don't know. The um, got EO a little worried, so she wants me to get checked out by Otome. So I'm gonna go there now. First and foremost, make sure I'm okay. What can I do for you? There's something wrong with me. Oh dear. Well, that's no good. What's wrong? You explain Eo and Daichi's fears. I see. Something strange about your body while you were fighting Spica. Eo said she saw it? Hmm. Sometimes the mind plays tricks on us during times of stress. But it wouldn't hurt to do a full checkup. All right then. Let's get those clothes off. <laughs> Everything? Mm -hmm. Everything. Well, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. You're a big boy, aren't you? Come on, off with it. Okay. Oh, it strips off you guys. It's actually thoroughly. <laughs> oh, my. You're rather built, huh? I've been played. Hmm? I'm not playing. I'm being completely serious. Completely serious about toying with you, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Not cool. All right, now, jokes aside. There doesn't appear to be anything wrong with you, physically or spiritually. I'm still uneasy, though. Hmm. I'll make sure to keep a close eye on your health, then. Just in case. That way, if it really is something serious, we can treat it right away. I'll be counting on you. Sounds like a plan. Leave it to me. And remember, we're all concerned for you, okay? We don't want anything to happen to you. I'll be here in Osaka all day if you need anything else. Do not engage. Is she gonna talk to us now? Probably. Yell at us. Miss Miyako should be back by now, right? We should report that we found everyone and defeated Spica. I'm hoping the fact that we killed it will smooth everything over. I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's go call the chief. Miyako-chan, are you here? Mr. Shijima, I believe I asked you not to call me that, repeatedly. Oh, 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 I I'm sorry, Miyako-chan. <sighs> How may I help you? We found everyone. I see. That's good to hear. However... I also heard that, despite my orders, you engaged Spica in combat. I recall giving explicit instruction that you were to avoid it at all costs. I can't have you <laughs> obey me. I'd appreciate it if you followed my orders from now on. Hey, it showed up, so we kicked its butt. If we hadn't, things would have been a lot worse. <laughs> Come on, Miyako, we won anyway, so it's all good, right? No point crying over spilt Spica. It is not your place to deal with the Triangular. As Chief of Jits, I am issuing you a direct order. From this moment on, you will leave all matters of the Triangulum to Jits. Isn't there one Spica left? Hmm, surprising. I suppose you came to this conclusion through Spica's name? You managed to defeat Form, and we have already dealt with its final body. So, we defeated all of them? Yes, we have successfully destroyed Spica, today's Triangulum. Now, let's waste no more time discussing what you did to them. What's done is done. However, if you continue to disobey my orders, I will be forced to limit your freedoms. I hope that you will choose to heed my warnings. To think they would be the ones to defeat the Triangulum. Is this as Providence intended? Makoto whispers something under her breath as she leaves the room. Man, I thought she'd be happy. But she was pissed. Miyako-chan's eyes were like ice. She looked at me and I swear I got goosebumps all down my spine. She's scary. You can say that again. She may be just a teenager, but she's the head of Gyps for a reason. I don't get why she was so angry, though. I mean, we did beat Spica, didn't we? Yamato wouldn't have been angry if we defeated a Septentrion. That's a good point. Yamato actually enlisted her help to fight the Septentrions. I'm not sure I understand Miyako's reasoning. Maybe she's just stressed out. It's possible. She's got a lot going on. Maybe she's just on edge. I wouldn't want her job at a time like this. 
She must be really stressed out. Miyako may not have been too happy about it, but we did save the world today. We took down Spica. We can definitely call that a victory. Our actions are making a difference here. Yeah, it's kind of nice. What we should really worry about is tomorrow. Our tourist is coming. Yeah, that creepy dream's been bothering me all day. Not to mention, we still need to find Yamato and Saidu. Yeah, I wonder if our problems with Spike are really over, too. Everyone shuffles out of the command room. I wonder that, too. There's no way they're not going to let us have a final battle with Spike. Ma Makoto, is she up to two with me? No, wrong place. I didn't check. Makoto, Makoto. No, oh, she's one. Let's get her up to two. Makoto standing by the entrance of the Sutinkaku. You got a minute? Sure. What's up? We should chat for a bit. Feels like it's been a while. Seems like everyone's doing fine in this world. It's good seeing some of you guys again. You aren't a swimmer? No. My companions and Gyps are doing fine, so maybe it would have been okay if I'd become a synchronized swimmer. I wasn't injured in this world. I got this bad feeling the day of the accident and took a different route. Huh, cool. Somehow I think all my experiences from that other world were still with me, so I was able to continue with swimming. Even so, I ended up choosing Gyps. I wanted a job where I could protect people. It's like joining Gyps was an inevitable part of who I am. Maybe because of what happened in the last world. Those days I spent with you were so important to me. <laughs> are you flirting with me, Mako? I, I, you, what are you talking about? She's covered in confusion. <sighs> I'm still no match for you. Well, I should be going. I'll see you later. <laughs> Mako's great. I like all the girls and guys in this game. They're all cool peeps. Um, who else we, we had to talk to? We got Otome, right? Yeah. Is Otome, um... How are me and, uh... What's his name? Uh, okay, yeah, Otome is the only one not at two right now. Otome! What a man is treating an agent. You're lucky this time. Thanks, Dr. Yanagiya. I'll be going now. Don't be too reckless, okay? A certain doctor could use a little break. I'll do my best. The agent walks away. Oh. Hey, you. Are you not feeling well? Came to see you. Oh, how sweet. I'm sure you say that to all the girls. Hey, do you want to stay in chat for a bit? We haven't really had a chance to talk since it's been so hectic lately. Doesn't it feel strange to have two sets of memories? Getting all those memories from the Polaris world was so unexpected. All the stuff about Koharu was so surprising. What do you mean? Koharu's real parents, my aunt and uncle, are safe and sound. So, I'm not her mother in this world. Oh, what? I guess what? this is supposed to be a better world, but now that I have all my memories... It feels so strange that That's kind of sad. We get along so well. People are always saying that we're like mother and daughter. I just never imagined there was a time where we actually were. Are you alright? If I'm really honest with myself, I'm lonely. But for Koharu, happiness is having her real parents. And happiness for me is seeing Koharu happy. So I'll be alright. And besides, I've got all those beautiful memories from when she was my daughter. That's why I want to protect this world. I want to keep Koharu and her parents safe. Dr. Yanagiya, come quick. There's an emergency. Aww. Sorry, You're awesome, Otome. I'm sorry, have to cut this short. Let's talk again soon. Yay. All these characters and their deep stories and what feelings and about why they want to protect the world and why they want to get through this whole ordeal. Like, it's awesome! Atlas is so such a great... Ah! The developer is like, amazing. You find Joe Daichi, Keita, and Jungo gathered together deep in discussion. That dream was just... so strange. Yeah, and 
pretty disturbing, too. No, oh, hey. We were just talking about the dream we all had. I didn't have the dream. Oh, right. You didn't, huh? But still, I think you should be a part of talking about it. If we all brainstorm together, maybe we can figure something out. It's very strange. Lots of people having the same dream. I wonder why we all had the same one. On top of that, we all got wrecked. Talk about a crappy dream. Remember when I said it was Arcturus that killed me? It's one of the Triangular, isn't it? Denebola, Spica, Arcturus. Denebola appeared yesterday. Today we had Spica show up. That means Arcturus is coming tomorrow. Well, I guess that makes sense. I mean, if they show up in order and all. It's like those death videos. Looking into the future and watching people die. Yeah, it is starting to sound like those videos. <laughs> yeah, since the beginning, we haven't even had a death so video, right? That is so, true. like, it isn't funny. It's but just like. pointed something out earlier. We can't be sure it's a glimpse of the future. But there's so much that doesn't match up with reality. For starters, Yamato was in it. Yamato really isn't in this world, is he? And yet, he was definitely in the dream with us. What the heck is that supposed to mean? No idea. We don't even know why Yamato's not in this world. Yeah, you're right. Damn. Every time we try to reason it out, we get further away. We don't even know what that dream was. But still, we all had the same dream. Maybe it's some new demon toying with us. We do know it isn't just a regular dream, I think. But we don't know why we all have the same one. Uh, I wish we had a little more to work with. Seriously, anything. Maybe we should ask someone new. Now that's our leader. Great idea. There's still a whole bunch of people we haven't asked. We still haven't heard what Makoto thinks, or Fumi, or Otome for that matter. You're right. Those three must have had the dream. Maybe they saw something we didn't. Yep. I'm pretty sure everybody saw this dream except you. Sorry, kid. Let's go chat with the ladies about this. Wait a sec. You guys haven't even seen Fumi yet, have you? Mm -mm. That means Fumi probably doesn't remember us from the previous world. We're gonna have to get her those then. They seem important. Although Makoto and Otome already have their memories back. We could just ask them right now. Go find Fumi Excellent. first. And let's. Uh, so yeah, where is Fumi, anyways? Oh yeah, we tried to see her yesterday, but Miyako-chan said she was super busy, so we couldn't. Well, looks like it's time to talk to Makoto and Otome then. This sounds like a job for you guys. Go forth, young lads, and be fruitful. Find out things and report back. Anything new we learn about that dream could give us an advantage in the fight tomorrow. Who knows? We can't be sure if the dream is anything like the looks into the future we got from the death videos. But there's... ...to be showing up. Tomorrow. I don't want people to die. Like in the dream. If there is something we can learn, and it can help us defeat our tourists, I want to learn it. Huh. Right. No way in hell I'm letting that thing beat me. Alright. Shared nightmare. Alright, we're gonna go here next. Leave a like, subscribe, share with a friend, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye!